Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the hashtag Team Project Pan 2022 that was set up by, sorry, <laughs> Kat and Haley from the Beauty News. I will link their channels down below. This is a full face rolling project pan. For a year, it is the refresh. I'm not doing a refresh. I only have two products in here that aren't makeup. This is my second time recording this video because it's quite hot and my camera overheated which doesn't happen so if you hear a little bit of, it, of noise my window is open i don't know what else to do to make the camera stay recording so i hope to god i get to the end of this video and don't lose all the footage again so let's just get on into it okay i have five empties i'm going to start with the empties then go into progress and then I'll show you what I'm rolling in. So the first empty is my Urban Decay Lash Freak that I got from Elaine, who is a genius when it comes to mascaras because all of my favorites are from her. Look at this wand. Is this not the weirdest wand you've ever seen? I don't do the rule of three months with mascara. I just stop using it when it stops doing what it needs to do. This was three months, but it's only a mini, but I got three months out of it before. It wasn't doing its, its beautifulness as per usual. Length, volume, hooded eyes, perfect. New favorite, so glad that I have another one because I really loved this. So thank you very much, Elen. She is an empty and I loved her, loved. Perfume, um, Yves Saint Laurent, back opium. I rolled this in the last time. I rolled in two perfumes the last time because there was only a little bit left in it. It's fully gone, which is funny because that means the spout thing got every little bit of it. I bought this when I was working in House of Fraser, so a good many years ago. Well, but it's gone. It smells classy and feminine. That's just the vibe. Soft, classy, feminine. That's what I feel from it. I don't know what I repurchased it again, to be honest, even though I liked it because it just makes me feel like I'm back working there and I don't want to be. So <laughs> that's the story with that. Another empty, God, I feel like I'm rushing, but I don't know. I'm really afraid the camera will shut off. This is the Fenty primer that I rolled in the last time. It's Soft Silk Pro Filter. There was 15 mils in it. What's the story with this primer? Fenty primer. I went from 71.03 down to 66.61. So I used 4.42 grams and that was in 13 uses. Would I repurchase this? Not right now, but I did really like it. So I would consider it in the future after I use up more of my primers and then reevaluate because I put this on after my moisturizer. It kind of evened out my skin. It felt more hydrated and I do have oily skin, but it feels dehydrated. So it felt hydrated, a little bit more plump and a little glowy and then just an even surface to work with. So I really did like it. I don't think I have anything exactly like this. So once I finish other things, this would be one I would consider repurchasing. Is it a must? No. Is it nice? Yes. And that is the story with that. I have two more. My gloss. So this is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk Lip Gloss. There's nine mils in here. Nine mils. What's the story with this gloss? So I went from 31.46 down to 29.43. So I used 2.03 grams this month, which was 24 uses. And 124 in this project. When I first rolled this in, I didn't actually like it because of the smell. It's, to me, it smells a bit like cherries. That was a train. I'm not used to this, but I don't know what to do. The stopper is out. It is hard to get the stopper out of this lip gloss, particularly out of any gloss I've tried to take the lip the stopper out of. Now that it's so hot, there seems to be like gloss at the end, which there wasn't. So that's interesting. Well, I am not. It's goopy and disgusting down there. So this is empty, 124 uses in the project, and I now really do like it. I probably would consider repurchasing this, but I'm gonna wait until I use up more glosses and then see at the end, because I have things that fit this kind of category. So yes, I really did like it, but I could live for another while. And then the last empty is what I'm really excited about. It is a cream blush that I got from my lovely twin on Instagram, it's Barbie Law. Courtney is her name and she shall be linked down below. I have, I have, I had it in here, so I'll just show you this because this is the packaging it came in. But this is technically a lip and cheek stain or color and I really loved it. There was two mils or 0.7 fluid ounces. It was the Noto, 
I think you pronounce it Noto is the brand. It's 2.03 grams the last time in this packaging, down to 1.6, which is just an empty pan. So I used 0.43 of a gram. In 13 uses, it took to finish it, and 114 in this project in total. And I think I used it about seven-ish times before rolling it in, I think. So I did use it on my lips sometimes and on my cheek, but I would say those 114 are more days because I wouldn't mark it as two if I used it as both. I'd still just mark it as one. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. You didn't have to be careful with it. It was very, very lovely and I really did enjoy it. It's my first blush of the year, potentially my only blush, but still happy to have a blush finished, particularly a cream one because those bad boys be going off quicker and they're already a hard category to pan. And I'm going to reuse this pan to repress an eyeshadow into it. Now it's time to move on to the progress. So my other product that is not a makeup product, I wrote this in the last time, it's the Soap and Glory Body Butter that I got for Christmas. This weighed 337.92 and now it weighs 100.47. So I used 237 grams and I was gonna say and 44 cents. <laughs> I used this 12 times and I would say, I would say I'd have it finished the next time. I mainly put this on after a shower and on my elbows and knees if I'm doing fake tan. I did do fake tan twice this month, so that's two weeks of the month because the tan I'm using right now is, it, it stays on you for a week and you don't have to scrub it off. It's the only tan I've ever used that you don't have to scrub off, it just goes itself gracefully. <laughs> Sorry. But yes, I have pan on the end. I would assume I would have it finished the next time. I do love the consistency. I do love the smell and I love getting this for Christmas. That's my first progress product. The next one is this foundation from Makeup Revolution. It was actually Revolution Pro. And this is the CC Perfecting Foundation in F for Frank 3. This marking is where I was the last time. I can't make a new mark because there is no product there. Like, Obviously there's product there, but when you look through now, you can see the pump, but not actual product to make a marking. So I would assume that this will be finished in the next update, but I don't know because it is too light for me right now. So I don't know what the story will be, but I'll try because there's not much left in it. This had 26 mils in it or 0.87 fluid ounces. It is a medium to full coverage. It says full, but I don't put enough on for it to be full, I put a very little foundation on. So this went from 26.41 down to 22.04. So I used 4.37 grams uh, this time and 6.06 .06 the last time in 11 uses out of 67 uses in this project. <sighs> I do think it's a lovely product, it's affordable. Um, however, all of the foundations I currently own, I purchased in the pandemic. So it's not really true until I go back to the office more often. Sorry, there's two kitties right there and they're looking at me. What are you doing, you little girl? So for now, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It is, I do set it on my jawline. I am oily, on my jaw and mouth area and nose. And then that's that. Just, that's what I do. It tends to last on me quite well, which is surprising. When I repurchase it, this will be the third one I've panned. So I might take a break from it, but if I used up more of my foundations, then this would be the affordable one that I've tried so far that I probably would repurchase, but not yet, not yet. I have, I, no, I need it. After three goals, I need, I need a break from that now. Lipsticks, I have two lipsticks in this project. Myth and Magic Spell from MAC. And I have a little piece of paper here. You should be seeing it there. And I'll start with Myth. I'm not gonna, will I read the weights? Is that really annoying? I, I went down 0.12 the last, this time and the last time in myth. And I've used it nine times in this update for a total of 39 and I mixed them together. So I've used them both nine times for 39 total, but yet and all I use 0.12 of this and 0.09 of this. Whereas the last time I used 0.15 of this. So I just must have applied less since I applied them together. I mix, depending on the look I'm going for, if I don't want it too dark, I kind of, I don't put the same amount of each on at any given time. Uh, Magic Spell is discontinued, it was only a limited edition type product. 
and it was a cream sheen and this is a satin and I really like it because it doesn't, aside from going on my aligners, it doesn't migrate around my face very much. Even though it's hot and sticky for what I'm used to, it doesn't move around. Whereas many other lipsticks that I own end up on my forehead and my chin and just everywhere. So I do really like these. I'm so glad that I'm panning something that is both old uh, but also something that I love. So it is beautiful, I do like it and I'm really happy. I picked finally a lipstick product to pan that was just ideal. I find that balance kind of hard. Actually I find that balance very hard. Then for brow, I had my Inglot Brow Gel in Blonde In. This is a new enough product, it's the only brow gel that I own. I don't have many brow related products at the moment. Um, um, my goal is to use it seven times per month. I only use it six times this time in the month. I went from 8.72 down to 8.66. So I only use 0 0.06. There is pan and now I'm using the top of it. It is a perfect color for my brow hair. However, because it's been hot and sticky, even though it just randomly one day it's hot and then the next day it's lashing, I've just been like quick brow pencil because I have just sweaty and sticky. So that's why. But I do really like it and I'm glad. If I'm going to own a brow gel, one. One is plenty because they tend to take me about two to three years to pan. When I'm using them exclusively normally. What is next? Oh my God, what is next? The next product is my concealer and this is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 20, which is a medium coverage sort of foundation concealer and it's just fabulous. However, I am my most fair from around end of September, early October, right around till June. Normally, normally. So this, even though it's in the shade 20 and it's fairer than the shade 10, it is too dark for me. I can get away with it, but I don't enjoy it. So I would only want one fake tan slash tan shade to own in my collection. So it's on me now and it works perfectly. So it works perfectly now, but I'm not normally this color for very much. My hair is annoying me. So I do really like it. I just don't get enough use out of it, but I've been using it anyway. So what's the story with this bad boy? I went from 16.53 down to 16.27. So I used 0.26 and the last time I used 1.23 and I used it 16 times in this update for a total of 37 uses in this project. I imagine that the uses will increase if my skin stays this color if I do my fake tan more often. For RCMA, my powder, my loose powder, which has been in this project for 10-ish months last year and however many months this year. And I used to really not like this until you guys told me to decant it into this and now life is good. I'm so happy about that, but why did I not come think of that myself last year? <laughs> last year. So I went down this much, not as much as this time, but nonetheless it went down, so that's good. I went from 32.9, well, now I have put more product in here as well. Um, 32.97 down to 28.25. So I used 4.72 grams, and the last time I used 15.54. I don't know what happened the last time. But I wore it 15 times this month for a total of 39 in this round of the project. This is a translucent baby powder like powder, but it's a little bit more finely milled, but not too finely milled where you inhale it. And I do, I do actually really like it. I actually have pressed this before and it pressed. So I don't actually own, I own one pressed powder that is translucent or skin color and just one which I didn't realize and I actually use them a lot when I'm out and about open and it's from Elaine the Annabelle one so if I finish this I might press some of it and see what the story is instead of buying another one and then I might buy another one because I do use them so yeah really like that now and that is all thanks to you otherwise I'd still be going mad over it and then I rolled this in also the last time I rolled two perfumes in and I bought them both when I worked in House of Fraser. This is the Marc Jacobs Decadence and it's just fabulous. It's a weird scent. I think it's an acquired taste type scent. And I am so in love with it. I went from 243.67 down to 236.36. So I used 7.31 grams of it. I used a ton of it actually. I really like it. Look at that little packaging. This is one that I, I probably would buy again. Not. I have a perfume wish list going. I would add it to the list and I wouldn't be in a rush. Does that make sense? But it would certainly go on that list. 
I do have another progress like product. What is it though? Oh yeah, I have a few. My bronzer, Too Faced bronzer, Pineapple Sun, Itchy Nose, Itchy Nose, and I'll show you what the story is with it. But I went from 55.15 down to 54. So I used 1.15 gram of, grams of this. So this has been a product, God, my nose, that I really like. However, one month where all of my makeup was going horribly wrong, which I think was last month when I finished the Smashbox primer, everything was looking terrible. This was looking kind of yellow on me and I just wasn't enjoying it. However, with this tan, I've been really, really liking it. When I finish this, I wouldn't bother buying it again because the highlighter is too dark for me all of the time. And the bronzer is nice, but yeah, I wouldn't purchase it again. But I'm really enjoying using it now that it works really well again. So I used it 15 times this month for a total of 40 in this project. I do seem to repress like an absolute machine. Most people in projects that I watch say that when they repress things, they go quicker. When I repress things, they take so much longer. I don't think I'm putting a lot of pressure, but I obviously am because it doesn't look different, but that's because it was so thick. Do you know what I mean? It was up the way rather than out the way. But it's okay, we're working away on it. And then the last part that I had in, and then we have our Rollins, I think. Let me just check. Yeah, Rollins. Is this. I wrote this in the last time and yes, I was so happy. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Fapes palette and I rolled it in technically in place of the highlighter. So technically I was meant to be working on the highlighter, maybe the bronzer and dip around, but I actually have been using them all. But for the purpose of this project, it is this highlighter, but it should look different because I used it a lot. So in terms of weight, I went from 146.97 down to 146.46. So I used 0.51 grams this month, but I wrote down the uses for each pan. So the highlighter, I used 14 times. This product here, I use as a highlighter with a tan and blush topper. I used that 10 times. This bronzer, I used 14 times. And this one over here, I used nine times. Uh, yeah, I love this bloody palette. This bronzer, okay, I figured it out. This bronzer thing I use on my forehead the most and I use it with this stiff type of brush and then that works with it really, really well. Really, really well. It's a beautiful shade. I use it predominantly on my forehead and then my project pan, well, the this one here on my cheek and I use this on my forehead and it's ideal and I'm just so glad. This was an expensive product and most products from Charlotte Tilbury that I have tried, well, I have not gotten on with her eyeshadows at all. I don't like any of the ones I've tried. Too much money, no, not for me at all. Her face products that I've tried so far, I have liked, but I thought they weren't worth the money personally. This though, this was like 78 euros or 75 euros. It is very expensive. However, oh God, I'm, I don't regret it one bit. Bit? One bit. I absolutely love it. I think it's feckin' fabulous. Fabulous. It is going to be very hard to pan this. This bronzer just does not move. But yeah, my goal was to just work on the highlighter. My like thoughts when rolling it in was to mainly use it for the summer months. That was like the thoughts, the thoughts. So for rolling in, since I finished this Noto blush, while the weather and everything in life is wonderful, I'm going to, to roll in this blush because I have been using it now and it's just, it's, it's very, very, very similar to the NARS Orgasm. It is. And, and it's very similar to the, look at it on my finger, to the one from Milani. So it's not like it's unique that way. It's just beautiful. So I've been putting this over my cheek and I love it. So I'm gonna roll this in, but I'm letting you know now when it gets back to winter, I think I have, I am just so unhappy really from the winter and autumn time because it's just dark all the time going to work, coming home from work and I work well with a routine. So I'll probably be rolling in these two blushes towards the end of the year uh, to try and finish them. I won't finish them this year, but that will be, for then whereas while it's all lovely and glowy this is what's staying in here for now um because i hit i finished a bronzer i finished a few highlighters and a blush now it's like have some fun and then face back into it does that make sense so that's the story i'm going to roll in this blush here in place of the noto blush i will prioritize these two 
but I clearly am using this a lot and I'm dipping here occasionally. So this is now going to be heavily focused on as a priority. Oh my God, is that not wonderful? Oh, it's so wonderful. I will be rolling a cream blush into my Partners in Cream when I have an empty to finish because I like the idea of working on a cream blush. What else am I rolling in? Because there's so much product here. In place of this primer here, I am rolling in, I, I misspoke in my last video. I said that this was my last smaller primer, like non full size. This one actually is, I didn't realize it. This one I got from Ashley, Lil Miss Lipstick, and I'll link her down below. I thought I used all of the ones she got me, but no, I mixed it up. This is the backlight priming filter from Becca. I am down to here. I do really like this product. I, it gives you a candle glow finish on your face. I do have a full size of this that I managed to get my hands on because of Ashley. Thank you very much to Ashley. I've weighed it. It weighs 23.07. There's 15 mils in it or 0.5 fluid ounces. And she's in, I actually rolled this into my shop my stash just to see. It was like, will I be working on this? But every time I go out of the house and I need my makeup to last, I've been putting this on because it's like glue. It is like glue. For oily skin, this keeps your makeup on your face. My God, it works. Or at least for me, it does. So this is coming in, but if I'm going anywhere, I'll be using that other one. But I really like the finish of this. It just doesn't hold my makeup on. It just makes your skin look nice. For mascara, I am rolling in this one that I also got from Hélène. And this is the Monsieur. Hélène can speak French. I can Monsieur Big from Lancome. And I was just like prepared to come across a mascara I wasn't feeling. This is Big is the new black. There's two mils in it. I have been using it since I finished the other one. And look at this wand. Normally, I love a plastic bristle wand. This is not plastic bristle. And I love this one as well. Now, the only thing is it does transfer under here. But it does make your eyelashes juicy and big. Like, it just makes it... Because I'm not a, la a fake lash wearer because I don't want to do it at home going nowhere. Even for filming, I personally just could not be bothered. It's just one thing I couldn't be bothered with. Whereas if I'm going somewhere specific, that's where am I going normally only food shopping. So I don't be bothered. So most of the time it is just mascara and this is fabulous. So now I'm struggling because I am loving the mascaras that Hélène is exposing me to. And this will definitely be one I will purchase one day. When I go through all the ones I have, I'm going to get a few and have like four, which I never thought I'd have, but I would just Thick. it is just so lovely make sure when I put it on it's like good lord my eyelashes are massive especially because I have blonde eyelashes so you really notice it what else am I rolling in because there's just empty stuff here now everywhere everywhere oh yeah oh I don't know what is in place of what now I rolled out five I rolled in brow gel so this is I had two brow gels a clear one this is not I'm not doing like for like with everything so yeah I had two brow gels, one was clear and one had a color in it and I finished the clear one and I owned no clear one. And then this was the only other one that I owned and I got this one from Ruth. Thank you bloody very much, Ruth. Ruthie, um, I'll link her down below. My God, I'm gonna have to link so many people down below. What a good problem to have. This one doesn't hold your brows up, but it doesn't stop. It. It's. I, I like wearing a brow gel because my brow hairs fall down the way. I don't know why it does that. So I am because I ordered a brow product as a recommendation from Kana, the NYX Brow Glue one. So that should be due here any day now that I, in place of my clear one. And so, sorry, my hair's annoying me. So now it's okay to work on this consistently because I'll now have replaced them. I was just running, I'm running I have so much eyeshadow and blush and things like that, but there is some categories that I actually need replacements, which are annoying. So yes, this is coming in. She is coming in and I have weighed her. I am not rolling in a gloss yet because my gloss that are, glasses that I roll in are generally strategic and I'm going on holidays the end of August. I'm going on holidays the end of August and I want to bring my Terra 28 gloss with me on holidays, but I don't want to waste that gloss to, for me sitting at home doing nothing all day. I don't want to waste it. I can't do it. So I think I had, I was between three glasses then and, but 
one of those, they all I wanted to pair with different lipsticks. They go really nice with a liquid lipstick I own, but I'm not ready to pan that liquid lipstick because I'm still panning the MAC one. And so yeah, I was just like, you know what? This is not working for me right now. This is not working. So for lip gloss, I'm going to play either till the end of this month or until after my holiday. And then I'm going to roll it in and just figure it out from there. It's just, I just, it's a future Steph's problem that she's not dealing with right now. And we'll come back to it later. <laughs> Okay. And I've made it to the end of the video and it hasn't crashed, died or done anything, I don't think. So thank God. Are you, what's the story with your project? How are you getting on? I love talking in the comments with people about how they're getting on. There's a few people that I talk to consistently every update to see how they're getting on to the point where I know mostly what they're working on and I kind of just love that part of it as well. So looking forward to talking to you and hopefully I'll have some empties next month. If all goes well, I'll have at least two, at least two, maybe three. We'll see. We shall see. It's all a bit of fun in the end. When I get to the point that I've finished something in every category, which doesn't happen all the time, I'm less strict with myself. So this is wonderful. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.